Hi everyone, it's Kylie from Paint Wing. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to paint these red crowned cranes. I used multiple reference photos to create the design for this piece. I will have the links in the description of the video. For this painting, I used four different colors, yellow ochre, Payne's gray, cadmium red, and Prussian blue. If you don't have all these colors, find something similar. I'm going to start off by applying some water to the body of the crane right here, and then I'm going to dip some yellow ochre into it. Next, I'm going to add some blue over here along the wing. The bodies of the cranes are mostly white, but to make things interesting, we're going to create a wash using yellow ochre and Prussian blue. I'm making sure to leave some white along the edge of its belly here. Instead, I'll be creating a shadow on the other crane. I'm dipping my brush into water to blend this out a little. And then poke in a little bit of yellow ochre. I'm going to switch to using a smaller brown brush to draw a thin line here. I'm going to draw a line out here, and then dip my brush into water and soften that line a little. Make sure to leave some white of the paper showing through. And now I'm actually using Payne's Gray to create a shadow down here. And then here I'm dabbing in some yellow ochre into the wash. I'm creating some tail feathers with some Prussian blue paint. I'm just carefully outlining some feathers right here. And then for the tails, dip your brush into yellow ochre and paint out some lines. You could tell some of my yellow ochre is contaminated with some blue, but that's okay. I kind of like the variation. And now for the long legs, I'm going to paint them out with some Payne's Gray paint. We're keeping these pretty simple and abstracted, so I'm not painting out the feet. Don't worry if things don't look perfect. And then when my wash here is still wet, I'm going to dab in some Prussian Blue. This will increase the contrast on the shadow here. Now for these feathers right here, dip your brush into a saturated amount of Payne's Gray. I'm painting these onto dry paper. You can see some of the texture of the paper showing through with the dry brush strokes. And then a few brush strokes down here as well. Now using a small brown brush, I'm going to paint out some fine details. And a few more fine details over here. For these details, I'd recommend using a paintbrush with a fine tip. I'm using a number 3 over 0 round brush by the brand Princeton. And now I'll start working on the head. I'll use my cadmium red paint for this detail here. 
I have a very saturated amount of red paint. I'm leaving a little white for the eye. And let's paint the head of this other crane. For the inside of the beak here, I'm adding a saturated amount of yellow ochre. And then I'm going to add a diluted amount of Payne's Gray. I'm just going to blend those two colors together. And then a little Payne's Gray to the lower beak. Now let's add some yellow ochre to the other one's beak. These two cranes are in a similar position, so the process will be repetitive. And a little paint gray on the bottom of the beak here, and on the inside as well. And then repeat that for the other crane. And then I'm going to add some gray along the neck. And then I'm going to dab in some saturated gray. After a few details on this crane, let's paint the crane on the other side of the paper. For this one, I'll start with some yellow ochre, and let's dab in some blue. I'm gently painting out some lines to represent the feathers. Using a few brush strokes, I'm paint out some feather marks here. And the little yellow ochre. Now let's add some feathers with some Payne's Gray. 
I'm just creating some curved brush strokes. I'm adding these brush strokes while the paper is dry. And now I'm mixing things together with some wet paint. And let's have it fade into some yellow ochre. A little paint gray here. And for legs, again, use paint gray to paint them out. I'm just sort of freehand painting the legs here. I'm going to dab in a little water for some texture. And now let's paint the final crane's head. Add a saturated amount of red paint with a small round brush. And while that dries, I'm going to paint out a thin line here with some gray paint. I'm also going to add some gray to this wash down here. And then after this wash is dry, I'm going to add some thin details. Again, I'm using a saturated amount of gray paint and a small round brush. And now for the beak, let's paint things in with some yellow ochre. Next, add some saturated gray paint. And again, I'm leaving a white dot for the eye. And then gently fill in the neck with some gray. I'm going all the way to the beak here. And a little gray on the tip of the beak. Using some water, I'm going to gently blend things out. And the last few details, and this piece is complete. And then here's our final result. Thank you so much for watching as I paint these cranes. If you decide to paint them, I'd love to see them. You can tag me on Instagram or Facebook at painted underscore wing, or you can use the hashtag PainWingClub. Otherwise, I hope you have a rest of your day. Bye now.